first we're going to start by continuing last, the last three years' uh, initiatives. So for the past three years, they've got a new television at school. There's one in the library, one in the cafeteria, and one in the main lobby entrance. So during the school day and during school functions, the TV stays on and has any announcements. So the announcements range from attendance, like um, from 6th through 12th, since our middle school and high school is combined. It just shows a weekly report. And then any extra, like athletics or academic achievements, they're all posted. We also have um, student spotlight and staff spotlight, which the students choose. So that was our way of continuing that. <clears throat> um, we also have the shop local program, which was started two years ago. So every student has a student ID with their picture on it in our school, so they can go to local participating businesses in Jenkins and Whitesburg and get a discount. So that helps promote our local businesses and allows our students to receive perks. Okay, so uh, basically what we thought would benefit our area the most would be con uh, uniting the community and school system, student body and their families. Um, we like to do this by taking the seven habits of success. We will have instructors come, come to a class and teach or schedule a community in the open house night based upon the habits. For example, habit number seven encourages teen, teens to sharpen the sorrow. We will have an instructor come in and teach the students and the community num members about personal hygiene, eating a balanced diet, exercising, getting enough sleep. We, this will create a stronger, healthier community. So basically what he was saying is our school started doing the seven habits of highly successful teens um, last year. So there are seven different habits and we also go over those like we'll pick a habit. So what Gabriel was saying was basically um, we wanted to start having an open house night that would allow the community and like alumni and people like that to come in and work with our students too because not many people participate in our open houses so we thought that the best way to do that would be to have someone come in and teach a class and incorporate the seven habits. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs>